GPD Chief Fred Berdallo has launched an internal affairs investigation following the use of a taser on a man in Tumon early Sunday morning. As PNC's Betsy Brown reports, video of the incident has been circulated on social media. A video showing police tasing a man who appears to be a tourist in Tumon is causing quite a stir on social media. A witness told PNC the man was kicked out of the globe on Sunday night about 20 minutes before the tasing took place. And DJ CJ Gallo says the man was clearly intoxicated. He was in the globe. He wasn't, uh, he was being warned many times by a lot of the security in the globe on, on certain things he should or shouldn't do. Yeah. But what do tourists think of this show of force? We showed the video to tourists in Tumon today to get their reactions and their reviews were mixed. What, what did you think of seeing that video? Exciting. And quite cry. One tourist we met said that while the man being tased may have been in the wrong, it's likely that language barriers and cultural misunderstandings escalated the incident. They attacked him. Mm -hmm. uh, Japanese uh, at first uh, the talk uh, because uh, Japanese, uh, the almost Japanese uh, have no guns. Mm -hmm. Japanese are at first uh, uh, they, uh, nagara, no talk, uh, no attack. The tasing took place in this area, and in the video, you see the man's arms raised, and then you see him take a step back slightly before the taser gun goes off. However, you also might notice there's something dangling from his wrist. He was already wearing handcuffs. If you saw the video, you look at his right wrist, he was wearing a pair of, ha uh, of, of, of handcuffs. Once he struggled, that's when they all parted, not because they just wanted to tase him, but it, obviously they were, they were looking to protect each other. As for the tourists we spoke with today, they say the video does not change their feelings about Guam. Does it make you feel safe to be on Guam? Uh, very happy. Betsy Brown, PNC News. Guam Police PAO AJ Balhaja did send out a statement late this afternoon saying that an internal affairs investigation had been launched and that the officer who fired the taser has been placed on administrative leave.